Did you already try the A380X from Fly by Wire, but you're missing some liveries? Then this is the video for you. In this video, we're gonna look at how you can add some additional liveries for this night aircraft. So for those who already tried the A380X from Fly by Wire, well, there were only two liveries in it, right? So not too much. So let's have a look at how we can add some additional liveries for this nice aircraft, because you likely want to fly using one of the real world liveries from one of the real world airliners. And to do that, you can simply go to flightsim.2. Flightsim.2 is a website which contains a lot of freeware, which is created by the community, but it also contains payware. So be aware of that. So let's scroll down and Let's search for some liveries. You can see there are a bunch of liveries, including several other ones uh, for other aircrafts. But as you can see, the A380s are now, let's say, on the top of this list, right? Which makes sense. So now if you only want to focus on those add-ons, you can simply click this nice option, right? Which says fly-by-wire A380X aircraft liveries. And then you will see all the liveries which are there. You can choose between... The Retro Air, you can see it's a search for Tucan, the Etihad, the Asiana Airlines, the Emirates, of course. Then you can see the Qantas, but also the China Southern and multiple other ones. Some of them might really exist. Some of them might not exist, right? So be aware of that. And this is simply a community add-on. And you can see that it already has 11 pages of real good stuff. In some cases, you can see it's fictional, right? Which means it does not exist in real life. But in some other cases, it's not, I would say, uh, between the lines. So keep that in mind. So in my case, I want to use the Emirates one, right? I'm simply going to click on the link and then you will see some pictures of the aircraft uh, or delivery. You can see that the liveries are sometimes really big. That depends on the quality. In this case, it's 8K and 4K livery. So keep that in mind. I'm simply going to press download now. If you're lucky and you've got a premium uh, subscription, you can download a little bit faster. But believe me, only buy it if it's really needed or if you want to sponsor the uh, guys behind this website because they're really doing good work. In my case, I'm going to say, okay, download it. Then you will see it will take a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simply pause the video and then I will return once the download has completed. So the download has completed and it I download one zip file, but zip file contains two folders, right? If I zoom in, you can see that it contains both the AVG and the 4K version. So which are both the 8K and 4K version. So be aware that you might not need both versions. For now, I'm going to extract them both, right? And then copy them over. Uh, at least I'm going to copy one of them over because I don't need both. Depending on the speed of your PC, that might take some time, right? In my case, it goes pretty fast. Uh, so let's wait. And there it is, right? So we've got the 4K livery and the uh, normal livery. I'm going to copy this one over. And the reason I'm doing that, because I need to move this one to the correct folder. So if you would look at, at your Microsoft Flight Simulator folder, uh, it contains a community folder. So in my case, I moved it out, right? But after that, you simply paste it here and then uh, it should be there. And then it's time to start Flight Simulator. Again, I'm going to pause the recording for now because I would say starting Flight Simulator might take some time and I don't want you to look at the screen until it has started. So Flight Simulator started. Let's look at delivery. You will find it, of course, in the world map where you can select the fly-by-wire A380X and then go to the deliveries menu. There you will find this one, in this case, the Emirates A6 EVG, created by US by Horizon Simulations. So once you've selected that one, you can, of course, place the aircraft on, I would say, one of the spots, right? So let's move to JFK, right? Let's do that. So let's make sure that we park it, park it on a spot where it fits. And it's always a challenge. I'm not sure if it's this one. Well, let's, let's throw it here, right? Here we go. Click on fly. And for those who are wondering what that sim brief option is, have a look at my channel because I just posted a fantastic video about sim brief integration within the world map, which is a tool which is freely available now via sim brief or via the Navigraph website, I should actually say. 
Really cool tool, which gives you a lot of functionality and makes it so easy without leaving Flight Simulator. So we're waiting to it to load, right? The first time it needs to load, it can take up some time because it needs to render some stuff. In most cases, it goes pretty quickly, but it really depends on the, let's say, specifications of your machine, depending how powerful it is. In some cases, it goes really quick. But in some other cases, if you get a lower spec machine, it might take a little bit longer. But say, don't uh, restart Flight Simulator. Simply let it do its work because it's rendering stuff. Go get a cup of coffee or something else, or go have, I would say, bathroom break. And then once you're back, it should probably be loaded. If not, then simply wait some other minutes and then you should be good to go. So in my case, right, you can also see that it takes a little bit longer. I was hoping that it would go a little bit quicker. Uh, so I divided this video in chapters, right? So you can now uh, skip to the next chapter if you don't want to wait. Or actually, now it has already changed it, right? So we're good to go. So this is JFK, right? You can see it's a little bit cloudy today. But here is that beautiful Airbus A380 with the Emirates livery, right? So let's go ready to fly. And then say, okay, hey, uh, we don't want to use this uh, yet, right? So we're going to go to the outside. A lot of noise, so already sorry for that. But here you can see now the aircraft has a brand new livery, right? The Emirates livery. And this is how easy it is to add a new livery to the A380X from Fly by Wire. Here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you are searching for more liveries, then go to the flightsim.2 website, which contains tons of liveries. And if you didn't install the A380 yet, then go to the Fly by Wire site. I will post all the links in the description of the video. So have fun with it and hope to see you back next time. In the meantime, have a safe flight and enjoy playing Flight Simulator.